Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Brett Williams. Today we are going to walk through my sentence mining workflow and the tools I use for sentence mining for learning Japanese. This can be used for a lot of different languages, but I use it for Japanese. First, I just want to cover what is sentence mining. If you don't know what sentence mining is, it's one of the things that we do in a lot of immersion learning. The specific method that I use is refold. So if you guys are interested in learning how to learn a language, check out refold.la. Go ahead and check this out. We got a three minute kind of explanation of what the method is here as well as you can sign up for the discord which is really helpful so I recommend joining the discord if you guys are learning a language uh, but here on the roadmap once you get to stage two you start doing what's called sentence mining which is chipping away at the language by finding perfect sentences to study and add to flashcards so that's what we're gonna be going over now is my uh, workflow for doing that before we get started I'm gonna go over a couple things about this workflow so what is my workflow? My workflow uses a few different tools that we're going to go over in a little bit. Um, the platform that this works on is Windows and Mac. I don't know if it works for Linux. I am not super familiar with Linux, so you guys might be able to find ways to make it work for Linux, but I'm not sure. But I know that it works for Windows and Mac, but it does not work for mobile. The learning curve, as far as how easy it is to learn this workflow, in my opinion, it's somewhat easy as long as you put in the time, but it could be easy to medium depending on kind of your familiarity with tech stuff and dealing with technical programs and stuff like that. The setup time is long. I would say it's probably gonna take you a few hours to kind of read through all the guides and get it set up, but here's the good thing. Once you have it set up, it's super easy to use. Um, I would say that, you know, you can make flashcards. If you look at my deck, you can make um, flashcards that are have, like, lots of uh, good information on it. So you can have the word on the front. You can have... You can have... So as you heard, it's got the sentence audio. It's got a screenshot here. It's got a f the full sentence audio. It's got the word audio. It's, you can add definitions, either bilingual or monolingual, and it, all of this is done in mere seconds. So I think that this is a really good workflow because basically I can create this card for any sentence on Netflix, YouTube, or even just selectable text like reading books. Um, obviously there's going to be no audio for books, but I can do that in probably like five seconds or less. So it's a really, really fluid workflow. I would say the only downside of this is that um, right now, this workflow relies on the Migaku browser extension, which is a premium extension. You have to sign up for their Patreon. But by the time you guys see this, it might be for public release. So later, when I'm talking about the browser extension, I'll show you guys how to check if it's available for free yet. If not, you can wait or you can join their Patreon and we'll cover that later. So let's go over the workflow. So basically the workflow, let's start with Netflix. Netflix is where I do most of my immersion because it's really nice to have matching subtitles. Um, I use a VPN, uh, like NordVPN, to access Japan Netflix, so that way I have access to lots of Japanese subtitles. We'll also go over that later if you guys are interested in doing that. Okay, so we're here in Netflix. I've got the episode loaded up. I can put it to full screen. Um, it, I'm not gonna go over all of the features, but here's some of the features of the add-on that are really nice. One, you can hide or show the subtitles really easily just with a hotkey. Another thing that's nice is you can cycle through. So I can skip forward a subtitle, I can go back a subtitle, or I can play the same subtitle over if I want to listen to it a few times. So that's really nice. Um, you can also do some other cool things up here, such as like set it to reading mode or download subtitles. There's lots of really cool things. This is one of my favorite new features, condensed audio. You can basically download just the dialogue lines from the whole episode, so that way you have it to listen to as passive immersion later. So a lot of really cool features. I'd recommend that you guys check it out. But let's go over how easy it is to sentence mine. So basically, one of the things that this add-on also lets me do is select the text. So I can select the text and I can look up any words that I don't know. Don't be intimidated by the, the Japanese definitions. Basically, this add-on allows you to add whatever dictionaries you have access to, any dictionaries you want. There's English dictionaries and um, Japanese dictionaries as well. And I'll also show you guys where to get dictionaries to load into this later. So let's say I didn't know this word. I can look it up. And once I read through the definition and I'm like, oh yeah, that's a, that's a word that I want to learn, 
to make a card from this, all I have to do is go back to the show, come down here, and click this little Anki button. So it takes that subtitle line and turns it into a card. Now this card has audio, it has a screenshot, and then it also has the subtitle line printed at the top. I can easily add whatever definitions I want by clicking that button. I can add multiple definitions. I can go down here and add uh, bilingual definitions. And as I showed you guys before, my card type, I have separate fields for bilingual and monolingual definitions to keep them separated. And you can set up this uh, add-on to put those into the fields that you want. So that way, anytime I add an English definition, it goes into the English definition field. Anytime I add a Japanese definition, it goes into the Japanese definition field. So I can also take notes here. Like maybe I want to say, she's mad because he ate her pudding. I'll take context notes like that sometimes if I feel like, oh, you know, in six months I might not remember why this line is delivered how it is or what the context of this line is. This just gives me a little bit more ability to kind of understand the context later. And I like that this add-on lets me do that right here so I don't have to add that context later. And then I just hit add. And that's all I have to do basically to completely make a card. And once I go into my Anki program and I go down to my sentence binding, I can look down here. So there it is. It's got, you know, the the word in the focus field automatically. It's got the expression up here. It's got all the definitions I wanted in there. It's got the screenshot. It's got the audio. It's got my notes. And it's all done extremely quick and easy. And that's uh, Netflix. So basically, it's the same thing pretty much for uh, YouTube. The only thing about YouTube, if you go down here, you can check and see Japanese auto-generated most YouTube uh, subtitles are not created by humans. Most of them are created by computers, so they're not going to be as reliable, but they can also still be a good base to start your card from. Let's say I wanted to look up what this word is. All I have to do is just hit the hotkey. It brings it up. Aji. Okay, let's say I want to learn that. Same thing like uh, YouTube. I just hit it. So now it's got audio, it's got the screenshot, add whatever definitions I want to it. Notice how it automatically adds the focus based off of what the word is that I'm adding the definitions for. And then I add that card to the mix. That's Netflix and YouTube. Another thing you can do is just pure text. Pure text is super easy. Obviously you won't have audio because there's no audio available, but anything on your computer that is selectable, whether it's in the browser or not, you can just select it, look it up in the dictionary, and then if you want to learn it, you just hit this card. You can come back, copy the uh, context, add it to the sentence field, you know, add whatever definitions you want, add more definitions, add notes, anything you want, hit add. And it's that easy to make a card uh, from any selectable text. Even if it's not in the browser, like here, I have a book that I'm reading. Um, if I want to look up a word, I just look it up, copy, you know, the context, make a card. Boom, boom, whatever. Um, obviously, that was really sloppy, but you can do it just that quickly. Um, okay, so that's selectable text and Netflix and YouTube, but you can also do local files if you want to. I never do. I pretty much stick to streaming stuff, but if you want to, you can click on here, go to the Megaku player, and all you have to do is bring you know any file in that you want to do. So let's say I want to... Uh, do seven seed but now it basically acts as if it's a uh, stream piece of content just like as if it was on Netflix so so you have this so you have the subtitles down here you can look it up you can hit the button to create a card and it creates cards just like it would any other spot so that is the workflow. Uh, now let's go over where you guys can learn all of this stuff to be able to get this going. Um, the first thing I wanna touch on is the Migaku Dictionary add-on. This is one of the essential programs that you're gonna need. So I'm going to link to it in the description down below, but basically you just go to Google Migaku Dictionary add-on, go to Anki Web Dictionary, Migaku Dictionary, and here's all the information that you're going to need. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is that you guys cannot be using the most up-to-date version of Anki always. You want to go here, go to about, 
uh, and see this is your version number. You want to make sure that your version number matches the current cycle details because they develop in development cycles. If it does not, you're going to want to do, you're going to want to install the one that is linked here so that you are using the one that the add-ons were developed for. And then basically all you do is you go down here, you get the code, you go back into Anki, you go to tools, add-ons, get add-ons, and you paste the code in there and you can install it. Right up here is a quick start guide or the full manual. The quick start guide is gonna give you everything that you need to learn this program. I personally, if you're going to use this, I highly recommend you guys you know, learn it, learn it in and out, learn all the features of it. It's really worth the time investment. I use this for basically every single lookup that I do for Japanese if it's on my computer. So the only time I don't use this is pretty much when it's on my phone and then I use a phone app. So this will teach you how to install it and stuff like that. Another thing I want to show you guys is that I'm going to link in the description to my dictionary pack. This will come with some dictionaries. I don't really like the ones that are provided because they're like free dictionaries. My dictionary pack is uh, basically um, my favorite dictionaries. They're taken from Matt versus Japan's Yomi-chan dictionary pack, but there's like 15 or something like that dictionaries in his pack. So I don't really need 15 dictionaries. So these are the ones that I pretty much use. Um, if you guys go to the link that I'll provide in the description, you'll get access to these. These are two uh, bilingual dictionaries, and then these are monolingual dictionaries. What I have here, Shonen, Book, Netflix, those are just the frequency lists that I use with those, so I know which frequency list is being attached to it. I attach a different frequency list to each of the dictionaries, so I can kind of have a bunch of information to be able to make my decision if I want to add the card or not. How to install those and how to use them are going to be on the Migaku um, quick start guide that I showed down below. Now, the other tool that I that is necessary is this, the Migaku browser extension. Now this is, like I said, a premium only right now. To check and see if it's available for free yet, you can go to the Migaku, um, migaku.io website and check to see there, but you can also just go to Google and look up uh, Chrome extensions and then I'm assuming, I can't say for sure, but I'm assuming once it's available available for public release, it should be in the Chrome store. So if you just look up Migaku, if anything shows up here, Migaku browser extension or something like that, it should have, you know, this uh, logo or, or whatever, then it's available for free and you guys can use it without paying. But if it's not available for free yet and you want to do this nice and easy, kind of straightforward, quick uh, sentence mining workflow, then you got to go to Migaku. Uh, join their Patreon. I believe it's $5 and above. I'm not exactly sure. You guys will have to check. But then once you have access to their Patreon, just go to browser extensions and get the most recent version of the browser extension. Uh, and then just like with the dictionary add-on, you guys will have to go through the um, tutorials and stuff like that, download and install the most recent version. And once you do that, all you have to do is just learn the tools and you guys will be able to do the uh, workflow that I showed you. One last thing I want to touch on is the idea of using a VPN. I, I use a VPN to connect to Japan uh, internet, so that way I can get access to Japan Netflix. Japan Netflix has a lot more shows available in Japanese with Japanese subtitles, and especially in the beginning, I think Japanese subtitles, accurate Japanese subtitles, are extremely helpful. So I'm going to link down below the refold community document. Um, I also highly recommend you guys come check out the refold uh, server um, that matches your language. For me, it's Japanese. There's lots of great resources, lots of helpful people. Um, but one of the things that we have in our Discord server is this community document and you scroll down, there will be a list of all the VPNs we have personally tested out that work with Netflix, because not all of them do. So if you go right here, VPNs that work with Netflix, all of these work with Netflix. Um, all of them you have to pay a little bit, except for this one. Soft Ether is uh, a free one that a lot of people have had good luck with. So if you don't want to pay for your own VPN, you can use this free VPN. Um, I wouldn't, you know, I'm not making any claims of trusting them for privacy, but as far as working with Netflix so that you can access Japan Netflix um, or whatever language you're learning, uh, these all work pretty well. The one I use is NordVPN. That's the only one I can personally vouch for. It works great for me. And then the last thing I want to touch on is just my note type. Some people have asked me about my note type. They like how it's laid out. Um, 
So they, they like how it's laid out and they want to know where they can get it. I will do a uh, video in the future explaining how you can get my exact note type, set it up, and get everything exactly as I have it. So keep an eye on that. I will link it down below once that video is out. And that is my workflow. And, you know, it's not really my workflow. It's basically just uh, using the tools as they're intended. But those are the tools that I recommend um, people use. I like them very much. But if you don't want to pay or if it's not out yet or if it doesn't look like it matches you, go ahead and check out uh, the Refold community because we're going to be collecting a lot of different uh, workflows. A lot of people are going to be posting their workflows and how they sentence mine. So find the one that works for you. Stick to it and mostly focus on immersion and don't get too bogged down in all the technical stuff. You know, spend a day learning the tools that you've picked, learn them really well, and then use them and, uh, you know, drive it till the wheels fall off. So that way you focus on learning the language instead of all the technical stuff. Anyway, uh, hope this was helpful. Hopefully you guys like the workflow and good luck.